expanded dynamic range with a single photo in GIMP. I use this quite a bit. Um, it's a little bit like a single image HDR. Uh, the first thing you do is add a layer mask to the image and you select a grayscale, a grayscale layer mask which um, just attaches it to the side and then we want to uh, mask to selection which gives us a selection on the screen um, which resembles the grayscale uh, so it's light and dark. Uh, we get rid of that layer mask, don't need it anymore. Then add a new layer on top we want that to be white. Blend it in overlay mode and it instantly brightens everything up in the image. And then right click again, add layer mask, but this time from the selection uh, that's on the screen. Okay, then we add another layer. This time it's, um, we want it to be black which you can just select foreground colour normally if you've got your foreground as black and overlay mode as well for that one layer mask uh, which is the right click again and from selection again same as before and this darkens everything okay you can get rid of the selection then on the white layer mask you want to invert the colours so you want the black and white to be like a negative. You can see there that what it does, the, the white brightens up everything that's on the darker side and the darken darkens everything on the lighter side. So it, the, the top one is bringing your highlights down and the lower one is bringing your shadows up. You can just adjust them to taste however you want the image to look and you just fiddle around with it. We'll just create a new layer from visible here just to show you the difference. So that's the final result and previous result, well, the start. Um, so it does make a pretty big difference. It's quite handy.